QR codes are everywhere nowadays. Let's see how we can 3D print them. Hello everyone and welcome to this new video from Free Dreams 106 channel. Today we are going to create with our 3D printers QR codes. For those who don't know, um, QR codes are a um, grid of black and white pixels that can be read by a scanner. Even your phone has a QR code scan and they are used everywhere because uh, they are super useful for business purposes. You can write everything you can think of in a QR code. For example, a link to a website, your Wi-Fi credentials, a, a card with all your data. So it's a really powerful tool. In this video, we're going uh, to see how to create them. And this will be a step-by-step -step guide. So I will uh, explain to you everything you need to know to create your own QR code from the uh, settings to the slicing process to the print considerations. So let's dive into it. So this website I want to show you is called QR2STL. I will leave all the links down in the description so you can easily find them. And the process is super simple and easy. Let me show you. First of all, we need to choose the correct section that is QR code. <laughs> then we need to paste the desired information in this space. I will make an example with my uh, YouTube channel link. So let me copy it and paste it right there. The error con correction can be left to medium. Um, the higher the resolution of the QR code, uh, the more time and uh, detail you'll need to print it. So medium is a great solution, I would say. Then we can scroll down and here we have all the settings we can tweak to create the QR code exactly how we want it. First of all, the dimensions of the code. Uh, we can choose between a rectangular shape and a rectangular with fillet edge. And here we can insert uh, the, uh, desired, the desired dimensions. Uh, we can also choose if we want to add a border that is like a frame for our QR code. I usually don't print it because I don't like it, but uh, you can also add it. And uh, you can also tweak uh, its dimensions, of course. Then here we have some additional information. For example, we can add a text and we can write whatever we want. Let me show you. To generate the model, we can click on generate 3D model. <laughs> it's intuitive, I would say. We Here we have a preview of our model. We can also move around and rotate with the right and left button of the mouse. But let me show you some additional settings that you may find useful. First of all, um, we can add a keychain hole. Maybe you want to create a small version of the QR code and take it with you. So we can do it. As you can see, it has added a hole that um, we can obviously tweak. Then we can also add a space for an NFC tag. Uh, an NFC tag is uh, something super, super cool that I will, I will talk about in the future on this channel. So 
subscribe if you're not already subscribed but for the purpose of the video i will only um, show you that you can add a hole for it let me show you if we rotate the model you can see that there's the hole for the tag so here is the most basic version of the QR code that, as you can see, is super fast and easy to create. And uh, I want to show you one last thing before moving on to the slicing process. As you can see, there's another column called QR code. And here there's an icon row. We can choose a symbol to add to our um, code. For example, I will use the play button of YouTube. Let's generate the model and here we have our QR code with the symbol in the center. This is super useful if you want to give a uh, additional int to your customer that is looking at, your, uh, at the QR code, so it can be useful. Now let's download the model and let's slice it. To download, we can simply click save as STL, but uh, you can see that uh, there's an option that you can tweak that is uh, separate parts. So do you want a unique model, a block, we can, we can say, or uh, do you prefer to have the, the parts separated? I usually uh, download the single uh, the single parts because uh, I have more control over the model. So let's download it and let's move on with this slicer. As you can see, um, it will download a zip file. So you can extract the files. And now we can import them into the slicer. I will show you the process with Orca Slicer, but uh, this works uh, with uh, Prusa Slicer, Bamboo Studio, uh, Anycubic, uh, Anycubic Next Slicer, so all the Orca Slicer forks. And uh, um, you can also find tutorials for uh, Ultimaker Cura. As you can see, I have the single parts, so I will uh, import all of them into it all together and the software will ask me do you want to load all these parts as a single object and I will click on yes. Okay so here we have it. Uh, there might be some times where uh, it, it tells you that there are uh, some errors in the code in uh, the model so we can uh, click on repair and it will automatically repair the edges and now we can simply slice our model and add a pose because if you want to do a bicolor um, print you need to add a pose so you can change the filament when the machine poses in order to do that we have to um, move the layer slider until we find the first layer where the machine prints the code now that we have found it we can add a pose Depending on your machine, you will need a different line of code. In my case, I will use the Creality K1, so I will add a custom G code uh, that is Pose. Uh, let me replay it. <laughs> right click, add custom G code, and you can type the line of code. The vast majority of machines use M600 or M0 for the pose. And uh, if you don't know which uh, 
uh, code you need for your machine, you can simply search it on uh, online and you will surely find it. The last thing I want to show you uh, in this website is this one. In the QR code column, you can see at the bottom the option QR City. If you click on it and enable it, um, you will see that it creates a three-dimensional QR code and it's su it is a super cool effect that I highly suggest you try. Um, you can choose the minimum and maximum depth, uh, so they will be randomized across the QR code. And as you can see, if we rotate the model, you can take a look at all the different pixels that are extruded in a random way. And it is super, super cool. It is sliced and print exactly um, like the basic versions. So here we have the final results and they look super cool in my opinion. Uh, I've printed the simple version twice. Uh, the first time with the black and white classic combination of colors and the second time a YouTube themed version, so in red and white with the YouTube icon at the center of the QR code. Super super cool, I really love them, but I love even more the, the QR City uh, print because it's uh, super cool and the result is beautiful so give it a try i've created this pair of keychains and they are super cute because i can clip them into my keys and carry them around so if someone asks what i do i can simply show them this make them scan the codes and uh, they take uh, these people to my website and my YouTube channel. I really like them. <laughs> so I hope that you enjoyed this video. If that's the case, please leave a like down here and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any future content. Let me know in the comments uh, what QR code will you generate if you will use it for your business. And uh, I wish you a wonderful day. See you in the next video.